Hello Scrappers, this is Lorraine from Card Creations and today's uh, card project I'm using the Sweet Stack uh, designer paper by uh, Die Cuts with a View and this is the sheet of cardstock that I'm using for my card. And I'll be dividing these different uh, patterns of this one cardstock to complete the card. To begin with, we'll start with the 8.5 by 11 piece of cardstock and we'll score it 3.5 and at seven and one eighth of an inch. And once we fold our card up, uh, we'll have our the open flap down at the very back. And uh, we'll adhere that towards the end of the project. But to begin with, we'll get uh, a piece of our cardstock, and this is cut at seven and five eighths by two and three quarters. And I did use my cuddle bug and uh, just embossed half of the cardstock uh, with the paisley uh, folder. And uh, we'll go ahead and set that here. And I'm going to add some strips of paper from the same paper stack. And I've cut uh, just very thin strips. And I've already added adhesive to the back because there's quite a few steps for this card. so. I want to make sure I have enough time to complete the whole project. Okay, so we'll adhere that. And I've got another piece that's just a little bit wider. Add that there. And I have gone over the edge of my uh, base cardstock, but we'll just trim the edges once we get done adhering the strips. And then I've got another thinner piece that I'm going to adhere right above that. And then I've got a wider strip, and that's going to go towards the top. And just leave about an eighth of an inch border. Okay? I've already adhered. I hope I don't have a problem with this. Okay. And now we're going to trim the end pieces. Flip that over this way. Okay. Same thing on the other side. Okay. And now we'll go ahead and add that um, to. Once we've prepared that, I've got another mat here that I cut in brown, and this is uh, eight by three and a quarter, and we'll add that to our white card. There we go. And then this will go on top of that. Okay. And uh, I've cut this uh, flourish here from the Storybook Cricut cartridge. It's on page 48, and I cut that at 3 inches, and I did add foam tape to the back. And I'm going to add this right over on this side. About there. Okay, and then now I've got a stamp that says laugh, and I'm going to stamp that there, and then I'm going to heat emboss it. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Okay. First, I've got to, I always use my embossing buddy to take any static away from your cardstock, and that way you'll get your, uh, embossing powder right where you want it and you won't have extra specks. Okay, so I've got that. And I use a coffee filter since it's static free and that keeps my embossing powder from uh, going all over the place. So now I've got that and then I just tap it onto that and then I can put it back into my container. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and do our heat embossing. You can see how it's changing color. Okay, there we go.
Okay, our next step will be uh, our tag for the inside of the card. And I have a piece of cardstock here, and this is cut at three and a quarter by eight. And then my mat uh, is cut at three inch by seven and five eighths. And I've already added adhesive, and I'll just center that. And I did the same thing on the inside uh, tag, and I just stamped happy birthday several times going across the page, and then one at the bottom. And so then this is going to uh, insert into there. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open my card up now, and that way I can judge where I need to add my adhesive in order for my tag to fit properly. So I'm just going to add a strip of adhesive right at the base of that tag. Okay, and then I'll just flip it over now. Just make sure I've got that right. And then I'll add one strip right along the bottom. Okay, now we can fold everything up together. And this should fit perfectly right in there. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is uh, I've got just a, a round circle punch. And I'm going to make a small slit. Just insert it about halfway in and just center that. Click that. And then... I'm just going to figure where my center is on that, and I can see that it's right at the tip of that triangle. And I'm going to get my crocodile and just punch a hole right there. And then I'm going to add a piece of ribbon. I've uh, layered a green and a brown piece of ribbon and just use my ATG gun to adhere the green tape, uh, excuse me, tape, uh, the green ribbon to the brown. And then I'm just going to thread that through there. Okay, and just pull it tight. And just trim that just a little bit. There we go. And there you have your tag birthday card. And uh, the nice thing about this card is that it fits perfectly into a, a letter size envelope. So you don't require any anything special or trying to make your own envelope. So it'll fit just perfectly in there. So there we have this week's designer card. Just zoom in just a little bit so you can get a better look. Thanks for watching.